Okay, my name's Andy. I've got this Greek salad here that I'm going to show you how to do. Now, I'm not a cook or a chef or anything. I just, I'm just i just a bloke who works in IT. I like healthy food, though. So I've got this going. It's a pretty traditional recipe. It makes about three days' worth of nice, crunchy salad for my family of three. It's really easy to make and feels really healthy to eat. Um, this serves about 12 people, or makes 12 serves, the ingredient content I'm going to give you, and costs about 16 bucks Australian. Um, and uh, you're going to need these ingredients. Now, I'm going to list them down below, uh, so you don't have to madly write them down. You know, obviously you don't need, like, massive jar of olive oil like I've got. You only need four tablespoons of it. So, you, get, you know, you don't have to buy massive ingredients like this. I just use a lot of olive oil, so <laughs> I buy that. Oh, also minced garlic. Minced garlic I left out of there. Uh, so you're going to need some minced garlic. Uh, I mean, you can just use normal garlic and mince it yourself. Um, I just use minced garlic because it's easier and cheaper just to buy a jar of that. Um, again, you can get all this stuff from Woolies. Uh, there's nothing exotic here, uh, just for the for the ingredients for the salad itself and for the dressing. It's all sort of basic variety stuff you can get anywhere. Uh, just get fresh vegetables. Get the freshest vegetables you can. That makes the difference. Uh, and the feta cheese. I use a full cream feta cheese, but yeah, I'll go into that as we go through the ingredients. Okay, so. Um, the cucumbers, I'm using Lebanese cucumbers here, about four of them. They're pretty decent size for Lebanese ones. If you've got small Lebanese ones, you might want to use five or six. Or if you can only get telegraph cucumbers, they're about twice as long as these Lebanese ones, so you might want to only use two of them. And I just wash them. I leave the skins on and just uh, quarter them lengthwise and then chop those lengths into little chunks. What we're going for in this salad is to get everything bite size, right? You don't want any of the ingredients um, too big to put in your mouth. Uh, so we're pretty much making everything about the same size. So they're, they're about one and a half centimetre size bits. Okay, oh, that's about half inch for people that don't know metric. Okay, um, capsicums or red peppers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I use like one big fat one or couldn't get that this time so I got these two little ones. They're looking pretty good. Um, just chop them up, uh, chop them in half and just remove the seeds and the pith from the inside like that. And then we can chop them lengthwise and then just chop them into about the same size chunks as the cucumber. Again about half inch, you know one and a half centimetre, perhaps a bit more than that. You know, it depends how big your mouth is. Okay, we've got some red onions or Spanish onions. We're going to need them in there too. Um, like them, they're not as um, as tart as, as a white or a brown onion. They're perfect for salads. And I just peel them and chop them in half um, that way. So you've got these concentric rings. And then I'll just chop them into spiderweb shapes like that. And you get all these little chunks like this that look really good in the salad and give you a nice amount of crunch without any pieces being too big. Okay, whack them in the box like that with all the rest. Looking pretty good. We're going to need some tomatoes in there too. I like to use little tomatoes. You can use big tomatoes and cut them into chunks, but I, I like them as whole as possible. Uh, I found these ones. Um, yeah, I use about 400 grams, which is like two little punnets. Uh, but this is a 400 gram, just big punnet, which is pretty cool. And uh, that's got different sized ones of different colours. I love the different colours just to make the salad a bit more colourful. But don't like them being that big. So I'm going to chop some of these up. Um, the little ones there on the right, they're, they're the right size to eat just in there. But the middle ones, probably chop them in half. And the ones there on the left, I'll just quarter them. Uh, so they're all about the same size pieces. Once you've got that together, just chuck them in the box, mix them up, and it's looking better. Okay, we're going to need some olives for this too. I use uh, whole pitted Kalamata olives. 
you can just buy these from the deli, uh, get about 250 grams, or I, I tend to get a big jar of them because I use them all the time and they just they keep well in the jar in the fridge. Um, and I just I don't measure 250 grams. I just like pour them into a cereal bowl. About a cereal bowl's worth is about enough, right? So I chuck them in. So you get a mix of about that quantity. Now the the last of the main ingredients for the salad is the feta cheese. Now I'm using a lot here, right? This this is half of what I'm using. This is about 200 grams. I use about 350 grams all up because my wife loves feta. So this is heavy on the feta, this salad, right? You don't have to use this much. If you just whatever about feta, use 200 grams, 250 grams, something like that. Uh, but because, yeah, uh, it's loved where I am, we use double this amount. Right, so I just cut it again into into chunks about one centimetre, a bit smaller than the chunks of salad, uh, just because it's strong, right? You don't want too big a chunk of this, right? And then once that's chopped up, chuck it in. And there you go. They're, they're all the fresh ingredients for your salad that you're going to want in there. Now it's up for the dressing. Okay, so here are the ingredients for the dressing. Again, they're listed down below. So... Um, you can just uh, print that out or whatever. Just have that up on the screen, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll just go through these individually. Uh, oh, you're going to need measuring spoons and a little container, right? And that's just to put the salad, the dressing in, sorry, and, um, and shake it up. You're going to want to shake it. Uh, stirring it won't be good enough. And sticking in a blender or a little bullet or something um, is too much mixing. Like it'll it'll it won't be good for the oil. Okay, and oil, you want to use extra virgin olive oil, right? Don't don't use anything else. Don't use oh vegetable oil, oh canola oil. Don't do it. Okay, you want this is the main taste in this um, in this salad, and you want it to be proper, right? So use extra virgin olive oil. You obviously don't have to buy a big four liter can like this, like I do. I use a lot of it, so I find it best value just to get a massive can like this. Again, this is just from Woolies. Uh, you can, you know, just use a little bottle if you're only going to use it for the Greek salad, but I recommend using extra virgin olive oil. And just measure out four tablespoons of that and whack them in your little jar, just like that. And uh, you're going to want some vinegar in there. And now you want to use red wine vinegar for this one. Uh, that's that's recommended vinegar for this mix of salad. I mean, you could use balsamic vinegar if you got some of that, but I'd really shy away from using apple cider or white vinegar in this. It's it's not going to give you the desired effect. And a bottle like this, 500 mils from Woolies, is about like two dollars sixty or something like that. It's it's not going to break the bank. So you may as well just grab yourself a bottle of this. This will do. I don't know, 100 salads, a lot of salads, right? So, you know, uh, just get it, okay? It's worth it. And, yeah, two tablespoons of this into your little jar there. And um, now onto oregano uh, or oregano, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I just use dried stuff like this. Um, if you've got it in your garden, use some fresh. But I wouldn't go and buy a whole bunch of this because we're only using like half a teaspoon of this. So you know, um, you know, unless you've got something else to use fresh oregano, oregano, whatever for, just get the dried stuff. Okay, whack in your half a teaspoon of that, and yeah, it'll just float around in the oil and vinegar, looking pretty good there. And now you want to get some minced garlic. Again, you can just mince up your own, whatever. I find it easier just to get a little half a teaspoon of this and whack it in. And then some salt and pepper. Uh, I use the stuff you have to grind. I just prefer it that way. You can just use pepper and, and salt from a, um, you know, a shaker or whatever. Uh, but, you know, I just do it this way. It looks nicer. Um, the chunks are a bit better for the pepper. Okay, and I whack that in, all in there in the dressing and shake it, uh, shake it vigorously, and you get 
a little mixture that looks like that. And that's it from above. It's, it's looking pretty good. That's a pretty good looking dress. Okay, now I would not recommend sticking this in the big tub of salad that you've got unless you're going to eat it all. Put the dressing on as required as you serve it out. So here I've got in this bowl here that you can see I've added dressing to that. That's about three serves. That's about enough for my family for dinner tonight. Um, so I've just added about a quarter of the dressing that I mixed up to that and mixed it all around in the bowl. And I'm keeping the, the other, the leftover salad, the rest of it, just in that big container, just covering it up and putting it in the fridge. And I'll add the dressing to that later when it's time to eat it. Okay, so that's, that's a small serve on a plate with um, just three lamb cutlets that we're having for dinner tonight. Um, so yeah, looks pretty good. About $1.25 a serve for those... Um, those uh, salad ingredients there. Um, cutlets were about two bucks each. You can get them for um, 30 bucks a kilo, which you, you can if you look around. Um, and they were just done in the oven, uh, just with a bit of salt and pepper on them and oil. And yum yum, that's a really good, healthy, yummy dinner. Uh, that's not gonna break the bank. Like I said, that's about $7.25 for that serve there. Um, so yum yum hope you enjoy um, put some comments down below uh, if you got any you've tried it and you suggest some improvement or some variation that you like uh, or if you just want to tell me what you thought of it whatever um, hope you enjoy it give it a shot it's a good salad people will like it and um, yeah like I said it's really crunchy tastes very 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 healthy to eat okay uh, see you next time